At this ground, I was told it was traditional to dip a cup in the local River Thames, pull out whatever you get and then down it in one. What could go possibly wrong with this glass of Thames mead? Welcome to Around the Ground. Good afternoon everyone and welcome to Around the Ground. I'm at SC, Sporting Club Thamesmead Football Club. I'll start off by looking at the 3G pitch around the back where the reserves are playing at half two today. Um, so even if the weather had been, um, weather had been bad enough to call the game off, I could have come and watched that today and that was actually my plan. I fully expected the first team match to be off because the weather has been diabolical. Much to my surprise, about 10 o'clock this morning the club tweeted to say the match was on so big big sorry about that big big shout out to um what well, the ground staff really uh, quite how they managed to get a match on this match is going left right and center i have no idea um i actually came in through the clubhouse the bar which is up there and you can pay in there these are the actual turnstiles here not sure whether they're going to be open or not um up this end uh, there's a seated area I'm not sure whether you'd have the best view if you were sitting there because of this boarding um, in front of it definitely in the first couple of rows you're gonna be have your um, view obscured by that I would think um, but it, you could stand under it of course if you wanted to for cover but you're not gonna have any issues because I love that stand I absolutely love it um, green and white seats up there really modern sort of bar facility inside um, which is great to come here today i decided i'd try and do the southern counties the scaffold league southern counties east um, and i looked a couple of weeks ago actually and thought ah oh, thames may never been there and when i looked at the sort of the location how to get here i saw that it's on the elizabeth line and now i'm not a train geek but i have grown up all my life with the london underground i used to go to school on two tube trains to get to school so it's always been part of my life and when it opened the elizabeth line last year look how this bends by the way it's very unusual on this far side um i've wanted to come on it but i thought i'll just wait until the day comes when um i need to travel on it and that would stay and i'm so impressed with the engineering the design um the cleanliness the efficiency of the whole thing very very impressed welcome addition it's not actually part of the london underground i think it's overground but anyway um it's great to go on that Getting this ground from that wonderful stand is just an added bonus. Um, so all this corrugated sheeting um, up here. So to, oh yeah, I came to the Abbey Wood station at the end of the um, Elizabeth Line, this little branch of Elizabeth Line. And then it's about a mile and a half to two mile walk from there. Uh, it's the nicest walk I've had since I went to Fleet Spurs. I was so surprised. South London. I never think it's going to be that great and then when I get here it's always green and interesting areas. Um, went past a lovely lake with swans and whatever on it. I took a picture of that which will be on the stills at the end. It was just a really pleasant walk here. There are main roads as you can see up there, surrounding area, but you just don't notice it. The little street that this club is in um, is a quiet little residential area. I am so pleased to be here. Um, I don't know why I've never been before, I just haven't, um, so didn't really know what to expect and I'm loving every moment of it so far. That's another view there of the stand, really quite unique actually in the way that it's designed and look. That's what I love about ground topping. More of your corrugated sheets up here and the boarding and but another sort of covered area, well it is a covered area that you could stand under if you wanted to. So, um, SC Thamesmead are at home. They're struggling a bit in the league, SC Thamesmead, near the bottom, and they're playing Snodland, uh, the opponents today, who are right up the top. So, it might be a struggle for them. But I wish them well, because they've, with matches being called off everywhere, to come here and find this, I'm just totally fell on my feet today. Sorry about that. Bag fell off my shoulder tried to sort that out and managed to turn the video off 
So we'll carry on walking around. He kind of walked for the park to get here the way I came, so I'll just follow up my phone. And it luckily led me in all kinds of directions. Interesting walk without having to go down any real main roads. Never been to Abbey Wood area before and it's fascinating. I love visiting parts of London I've never been to before. I will show you the dugouts. I was wondering where they were when I just had me walk around taking pictures. These are proper, proper dugouts, old school. Through there, down where that bench is. They are below, that's how it always used to be when I was a kid, a proper dugout. Absolutely love it. Don't take my word for it. Why don't you come to SC Thamesmead Football Club yourself? You really won't be disappointed. Do stay tuned for highlights of today's match and some steals at the end. Really hope you've enjoyed this walk around the grounds video. If you have, click on like. If you've hated every minute of it, click on dislike. But why not subscribe? And all future videos that I do go directly to your YouTube feed. Once you subscribe, click on the little bell. Click on the little bell. You'll wake up in the morning and there'll be a proper old-fashioned dugout in your back garden. Thanks for watching. Speak to you soon. This is the excellent SC Thamesmead Football Club. Words. Good side, keeper. Oh, strike some.
Full time SC Thamesmead nil, Snodland five. Um, Snodland scored within 30 seconds at the beginning of the game and it went downhill from there for Thamesmead, to be honest with you. Snodland absolutely destroyed them first half, second half went a bit flat, um, but they thoroughly deserved their win. What a lovely place to come and visit, though, so do come if you can. Thanks for watching and speak to you soon.